Moving along for part three, I went ahead now and made this side plate for splitting. It's uh, bored out a little bit largely and uh, importantly so that it will fit at an angle if it has to, which it probably will. The intention is to take out these two front uh, through bolts that uh, I had overlooked and the part fits like this. Along with that I made a new handful of nuts I showed you how to make. So we should be okay there. The cutouts you see will prevent uh, the oil pressure fitting from being disturbed as I explained the last time. So all I really need to do is turn the engine back right, install this plate, install the other plate that I've already made, and we should get the, enough pressure on this, it looks like, so that we should be able to pull the engine tabs apart without too much trouble. With a short plate like this, it's important to get some padding washers in there to start off with on the uh, large bolts and then let the pressure build here slowly and then on the other side as well and then those can be removed as is required. I also made sure to first tie off the crankshaft to that bolt just uh, somewhat as I'd done over here. I tied the rear part of the crankshaft to the engine mount. So now we're set up with the left plate and the right plate. There are excess washers on the left. So I'm going to start trying to tighten here. Just as before in the other films. Hopefully we'll see something begin to open up here. Now it's going to be necessary to do this in a symmetrical way. And that's that's the challenge of this. Get the right wrench on the right socket. And then you've got to crisscross or you're kind of wasting your time. And then you get get it distorted. These aren't as tight as they needed to be. One of my nuts even fell off there. I can already see some opening up here. Heck with that. Don't want to run out of time. Okay. I don't know if you can see anything really at this point. But all we're going to do is go around and make sure that we're, we're equally tightening up. I've reversed the nuts so that the, the big side, hey, I'm seeing an opening. The big, the big side is on the outside now to keep up with which wrench we need. Looks like it's moving pretty well. Okay, we got quite a space here up front. Well, let's see if we can get some more back here. Yeah, I'm starting to see quite a bit of space. I think you can. I think you can see it. I'm trying to be as symmetrical as I can. little behind on that one you know and I think you just take your time there's no rush I'm just trying to film this so I've got three cameras running and uh, trying to keep up with that and it looks like we're just going to spread open now okay Okay, I think you can really begin to see a lot of opening, and uh, let's go ahead and take a close-up on this to show you uh, for sure. You can now see quite an opening. So let's just stay with that and then get it open the rest of the way. Both plates are completely screwed down now all the way. They've done their job. 
The case is separated pretty nicely. You can see the crank or the camshaft in there, sitting there. And then if you look down, you can see some faint amounts of scrapings off of a bushing, a copper bushing that's in the left-hand side of the case up front there. So I think we're about ready to just pull the cases apart by hand. At this point, the case should actually just separate without very much effort at all. So uh, have plastic bags ready for the tappets and then uh, be ready to cut the uh, tie wraps there because uh, they're holding in the the main parts of, in the case. So here we go, let's give it a try. <laughs> Yeah, easy. Up to one point anyway. Let's see if we can keep pushing, pushing. Yeah. It's always that last inch. I think what I want to do right now, before I go any farther, is to get the crank, uh, camshaft out of there. Okay, here it comes. Oh, I didn't mean to drop it. There we go. That looks like it could use some service. Okay, and uh, good thing I've got the box from the overhaul people that they send. Uh, this one's uh, aircraft specialty. So one of them boxed. Now uh, let's get this scrap out of here. If we can continue the process. It really doesn't seem to be too much. It's just, it's a little bit stuck up front. Oh, here we go. Ah, ah, what success. And then remember, the tappets are now exposed, so you want to reach in here and just get them. Get them out of there. And uh, plastic bag is all ready. Should have opened this now that my hands are oily. I'm sure you don't need to see about plastic bags or anything. But anyway, those are now safe in a bag. And the same process on this side. Reaching in there and get those out. You need these to turn them in, like I've said. Let me get another plastic bag real quick. Wasn't quite ready with the bag, but anyway, and it goes. Mission accomplished on that. And uh, that, now the next thing is, I guess, Let's take this away for a minute, and then I want to cut the cords and get the, the crankshaft out in my hand. So let me move this. Okay. Crankshaft. I think what we'll do is just make sure that it's just lying on its back there. And that way, no damage can come to anything. Let's see. Sure. Oh, I've got another one up front here. Yeah. Okay, cut. 
That's pretty heavy. I've never lifted one out, so... That's really on there. I think it's the bearings that... Uh, you know, the bearings. It actually looks pretty good. Looks very good. Okay, I'm going to have to probably stand it on its end and take a break for a second here. But, pretty good. So, the key thing is this plyo bond sealed a rubber gasket oil uh, prevention or oil stop gasket and it wasn't obvious until I got it on its end you've got to get that out of there so now we should just be able to grab it Some of this because it's pretty oily. Be really careful not to damage this thing. I don't think I will, but it should come out of there now. Yeah, okay. All right. Got it. Now, let me set the case down a little bit here. Okay. Just carefully lie it back down for a second. There we go. Well, that's what they look like. So now I'm going to kind of clean it off a little bit. I want to get this oil ring completely off, oil uh, gasket ring. And then uh, I've got a box for it too. I was unable to get that gear off the end of the crankshaft. And, but from what I understand, they will take it off, and that's good. And if it passes inspection, they'll also inspect that. There's a pin that's inside the steel bar there, um, and it will not release. So I'm not going to mess with it. That is also a place where the crankshaft can potentially split and be rejected. So again, let them fool with it, and hopefully all will be well. The front bearings, however, do have a wear pattern, kind of a, a grind down on each side. I noticed that on both of them. The other set the same way. I don't know how significant that is, but I don't think it's a problem just looking at it. The front of the crankshaft doesn't appear to be too bad. It may just require polishing, I hope. The next video I make will potentially include things like the status of the actual inspections of these parts in the case. And I'm wanting very much to take these parts to someone who can reassemble it correctly. And then, in my case, be at least an observer, but hopefully even a participant. It may be a bit of a tall order, but I'm going to see if I can do that. Anyway, it's been fun, and I'm looking forward to the future with my engine here and hopefully reinstalling it in the airplane and seeing everything come together. And if I do, you'll get to see it too.